So we're excited to get to talk about our accelerated programs and you'll notice that I haven't called them three-year degrees because what we found is there, are, there have been a lot of good unintended consequences of having a three-year program that hasn't always included three-year students but has given students I think a different way of looking at how long it takes to complete their degree. So today I'm going to try to highlight some of the things that we've learned, a little report on how many students are going through in an accelerated way, and then while we have the changeover to Jeff, I'll take a couple of questions, and then after uh, both presentations are done, we'll have as much time as we need to answer your questions on either one. So first of all, this is our Think Three Years approach, and we've marketed this now to recruits, to incoming students. When we have uh, students come for Purdue is for Me or other kinds of recruitment days. This is always something that's brought up. Uh, we talk about it with our advisors. Uh, we talk about it in our lower division classes. And that's the way that we've been uh, largely trying to recruit. This is a, just a shot of what our website looks like that, um, that shows students how in three years they can achieve any of the five degrees that we ordinarily have simply by going in the summer um, and, and not taking 12 hour semesters. And so it's really not that hard for students to do. And we've had to make some structural changes so that summers are really worth it for students. And I'll talk about that in a moment as well. Uh, the number of students we have in the accelerated programs right now is 15. Now we have about 300 admitted majors. So this is still a relatively small number. Um, I don't think we ever had any illusion that lots of students would go for this. Um, we, but at the same time, I don't think we knew quite which kind of student would choose three years. Um, I know I was thinking local students maybe living at home and trying to just get through the burn through the degree or maybe married students. None of that has come to pass. So students from everywhere and from all majors uh, in our program have participated in this. Um, five of them on the three year plan where they've actually signed a document saying I am committed to three years and then 10 on a three and a half year plan, although a couple of those are actually gonna get done in three years in a summer, so not quite three and a half years. Um, but all of those have really been a result of having a three year plan in place. I show you this picture because these are our crack team of advisors right here circled for you. We have four academic advisors in communication and students have identified them overwhelmingly as the main aid in getting them through in an accelerated manner. And so I want to make sure I acknowledge Josh and Jason and Yura and Betsy because they are excellent and they give our students excellent advice. And they really help students get started early so that they can plan those summer classes and kind of calculate what it's going to take to be able to finish in three years. So I've had some conversations in the last couple of weeks with our students that are in the accelerated programs. And these are the things that they have identified as the most useful parts of the way we have things structured so they can get out in three or three and a half years. Advisors overwhelmingly and enthusiastically uh, have, have gotten credit for a lot of that. Our increased summer offerings have gotten a lot of credit and in fact students across the board said that they thought the summer part would be really difficult and that it turned out to be one of the easiest parts between either studying abroad and getting uh, communication credit or the offerings that we have on campus or online. Um, online offering several students, not quite as many, took advantage of on their path to three or three and a half years. A lot of students talk about something that we have no control over, and that's how many hours they brought with them to Purdue. So in a couple of cases, students sat down with their advisors, and their advisors said, you know, with the number of hours you have from advanced placement or dual credit or that class you took at Ivy Tech your senior year, um, you could finish a semester early. And, and so then they started thinking, what would I do with a semester? How much money would that save me? And that kind of um, steered some of them into the plan. We also have a one credit elective course for our new students. We have about 50 students a year that take that course, so not all of our majors at all, but several students, uh, at least two that I talked to, but others uh, anecdotally have told me about how uh, in that class they have to kind of map out their own plan of study. It's, again, just a one, one credit course, but gives them some good practical experience and causes them, I think, to think about options that they might not have thought about before. Now, you don't need to know what these numbers mean, but I put them up there to give you a sense of what we've done in the last three years with our summer offerings. And we certainly appreciate the provost office support in, um, for the most part, just encouraging us to try to add some upper division courses. Um, in most cases, we've gotten plenty of enrollment in those. They're courses that we did not expect we could fill in the summer. And again, with the provost's encouragement, 
we went ahead and offered them. And as you can see, we have coverage from the bottom to the top of the undergraduate program. So we have 20 courses offered this summer. Uh, about five of them are available online. Several of them are offered more than once. And I think this has really surprised our students with how many classes they can get in in the summer so that they stay on track toward those early graduation dates. Uh, one of our advisors, uh, Josh Dexter, said that uh, he thinks the three-year plan has really started to break the a degree takes exactly four years mindset. And so again, this is not exactly what we expected to happen exactly, but I think it's been a useful tool to get students to think, okay, uh, how long do I need to finish my degree at Purdue? And instead of thinking it's got to be four years exactly. So we projected, and you can go onto the website and see what our predictions are for how much students are going to save if they graduate early. But I asked students, how much have you really saved? A couple of them said, that wasn't a consideration for me. I have no idea, which was also interesting. But the ones who had calculated it, uh, Indiana residents gave me a range of ten dollars to $11,000. And we have one international student who's in the program right now. Uh, and she estimated it saved her $20,000. So it's nice to see that what we expected, what we kind of predicted, is pretty close to reality. And actually, uh, at least one of those Indiana residents is doing three and a half years. So just a semester is saving her by the time she calculates all the costs associated here, uh, about $10,000. These are just some statements that students gave me. I asked them some simple questions like, have you taken the online classes? Has it been easy to find your summer schedule? And several of them wanted to tell me a lot more than that. So I thought I would share a little bit of what they had to say with you. Um, Charlotte said, I cannot speak highly enough of my academic advisor. She's been the greatest help throughout my entire career at Purdue. Every time I go to meet with her, it's clear that she has my best interests in mind. So that was obviously, I mean, we believe in our advisors. We trust them with getting our students through. But it's nice to hear the affirmation of what a great job they're doing. Um, Paige Pope said, graduating early has given me real agency in my decisions in future. I'm choosing a path that works best for my life. And that has caused me to really value, appreciate, and maximize my time at Purdue. And this is another way of thinking about an accelerated program that I don't think we had really considered, which is that if students know early, I'm not going to have four full years. I'm choosing to have three and a half or three years that they may, I don't know, kind of you know, suck the marrow out of that experience a little bit more, knowing that it's abbreviated and that that's their choice. Olivia just said the easiest part of graduating early is getting the summer credits done. And I, again, I think this was surprising for students because we recommend nine hours in the summer. And that sounds like a lot, but several students said, you know, I did a study abroad program that was a month. I got six hours took another class online, there's my nine hours, no problem. Uh, a lot of students talked about things they were able to do in addition to summer. So they thought they would have to kind of put their lives on hold for the summer classes, and it didn't work out that way for them at all. Now, there is one obstacle, and a couple of students mentioned this obstacle um, in different ways. I thought Paige put it, put it uh, well when she said, many people have told me that I am making a mistake by graduating early. People have a very preconceived uniform idea of what college should mean to everyone and how college should be done. So breaking that mold can be difficult. And I know when, this, when, when we first made this announcement, there was, I don't know, outcry is not quite the word, but there was some reservation about encouraging students to speed up their college experience. And we, on the website, when we talk about the three-year program, we try to make it really clear. Four years is also great. You do not have to do three years at all. We always have all the regular four-year programs. Um, and, and we think that's fantastic. But if three or three and a half years works for you, we want you to know that that's possible. And it's not even that hard to make that happen if that's a choice that you make. So how much has this changed students' experience when they have to speed things up? This was something we weren't sure exactly how it would work out. Uh, so the nine students that I talked to in the last week reported five different study abroad experiences, even on their accelerated schedule. Now, in their cases, all of them have been summer, some of them four weeks, some of them six or seven weeks. But one said, I could easily have done a semester if I had chosen to do that. I, I made a conscious decision not to. But so that's about, again, of the students that I talked to, more than 50% of them had managed to do study abroad. Now, we, we have pretty high study abroad participation in communication in general. Our usual number is about 30% of all of our students have at least one study abroad experience. So again, this is a very select sample. It's not representative. But it certainly shows that um, the accelerated degree does not keep students from doing study abroad. <coughs> Students have also had internships. I didn't ask specifically when I was talking with students about this, but a couple of them volunteered things that they'd been able to do. We had a student last summer who interned with the Kokomo Jackrabbits. 
And this was really cool. I was teaching um, sports communication in the spring, and after the first class he came up to me, or in the fall, and after the first class he came up and he said, you know, I had your public relations class last year, and then this summer I was working for the Kokomo Jackrabbits, and who incidentally have a pretty terrifying mascot, in my opinion. <laughs> but he said, I was working for the Kokomo Jackrabbits, and we had a crisis situation involving using the stadium. You know, it's a small league, and, it's, and, and I had to deal with it. And I felt like I knew what I was doing, and, and, and it worked out. And so it was really nice to see that he was getting not just the practical experience, but a chance to practice what he would learned. We have one student who's on the three-year plan who is going uh, to finish her second year as an intern at WBAA. Uh, and, and that she's been able to do during the regular semester while she's also taking her classes. So it doesn't seem to have slowed students down in being able to do the extracurriculars that they're interested in as well. And I'm going to end with this and then, and then pass the baton to Jeff after a couple questions from you. But just to give you a sense of, of how this might be having an impact by making summer easier and, and, and giving students more options, I just looked at our last three years of four-year graduation rates. So based on students beginning in fall of 2009, 2010, or 2011. And as you can see, our relative to the college and the university, we're doing pretty well on that. And this last year was our highest year in many. So I don't know if I can I, I can't say precisely that's because we've added more summer classes. That's because we have a three-year plan. But I do think it's, it's interesting, and it'll be interesting to watch to see if um, students are able to graduate better on the conventional four years just because there's also a three-year option.